Good morning, happy campers. It is four in the morning and it is time to go on a road trip. I'm in New Jersey and I'm headed to Florida. Uh, my name is Ben Rich, the electric biker, but today I'm in a car. Uh, you'll learn more about why very soon. So here we go. Bye Montclair. You know you're in the Northeast United States when you're going through toll booths. Thank goodness for easy pass. Okay, here we are on I-95. Uh, just took the exit and paid the toll. And now I've got two and a half hours remaining on the trip. And we're in autopilot. Every once in a while I gotta apply force to the steering wheel. And then that clears the message. It's cool. We got a full moon today on the drive in New Jersey so far. Oh man, I had Party in the USA going here. 6 a.m. Going on the Delaware Memorial Bridge, leaving New Jersey, heading to Delaware. Second state of the journey. It's going well. Uh, not a lot of traffic between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. I think I'm gonna hit Washington DC right around 8.30, which is not gonna be good. But what are you gonna do? And as soon as you enter Delaware, you hit the toll. Autopilot is not super excited about tolls, so I usually take control when there's a toll. Go through it. Go easy pass. And as soon as possible, turn on autopilot again. There we go. Just entered Maryland, and it is 6.18 a.m. So I didn't spend much time in Delaware. The map is trying to send me to Chesapeake House, but I'm gonna go to the Maryland House rest area because that is, uh, it's gonna run down my charge a little bit more and the lower your charge, the faster you charge up. That's just how it works. More on that later. Oh my gosh. So my map was trying to send me back to the supercharger at Chesapeake House for the longest time. And all of a sudden, it decided I could continue going forward and go to Maryland House, which is where I planned on going in the first place. So, quirky, but still works. Here we go. They even have gasoline for old-fashioned cars. There they are. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, just back into this spot here. Okay, so, how to charge? That's how easy it is. <laughs> Okay, so, charging times and things like that. Uh, right now I'm charging at 50 kilowatts. It is actually ramping up. It should go above 100 kilowatts, which means I will get uh, a little over 400 miles of charge per hour. And uh, you get the fastest charge when your battery is low, right? So I purposely ran my battery down to uh, about 10% and hopefully it will ramp up to more than 50 kilowatts because that is very fast for other electric cars but very slow for Teslas and then um, I'm only going to charge for about 20 minutes or so and then I'm going to charge more often at a higher rate so I'm gonna stop more frequently and uh, but I'm gonna be charging uh, at a higher rate Looks like we're gonna charge at about 103 kilowatts. So uh, I'm gonna head into Maryland House, uh, stretch my legs and relax a little bit and uh, get some food. I was close to 500 miles of charging per hour and now it's down to 254. So uh, I'm going to 
uh, get going. There are plenty of charging stations along the way, so I don't really need to stay very long. It's 7.06 and uh, time to get going. So I'm going to unplug and uh, head off. Here we go. Stay straight to Over here are the charging stations I used to use. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to do that again. How does autopilot work? You've probably seen this on other videos, but here it is again. You press the stock down twice, gives you a little ding ding, and you're off. Uh, you can set the speed to whatever you want, so I'm going to go ahead and set it to the speed limit. Good idea. And technically, you should have your hands on the steering wheel. If I want, I can change lanes, uh, or excuse me, I can have the car change lanes, and uh, it just does that nice and smoothly. So basically, it's not so much me taking a route. I'm not driving to Florida from New Jersey, but the car is driving me from New Jersey to Florida. So uh, that's pretty sweet. It's very relaxing. Listen to my tunes. By the way, the cop count in Maryland, Northern Maryland, is now five. Two that have pulled people over and three that are on the side of the road. So keep you updated on that. White Marsh Exit in Maryland is a place I have charged up my electric motorcycle so many times because in the last six years, uh, each summer, I have taken an electric motorcycle road trip across the country and I always go through DC and this is right between me and DC. So uh, it's wonderful being in a Tesla because I can go significantly farther than I could in an electric motorcycle. So autopilot is brilliant in traffic. You're not seeing a lot of cars coming in and out of the lane. You're just following the bumper of the car in front of you. That's it. So uh, it will automatically slow down and speed up relative to the car in front of you. You can actually change how far uh, behind the other car you are. I like my cruise falling distance really close because I live near New York City. So if you don't follow very closely, other people will cut you off. But when you uh, are farther out, you can increase the distance and uh, maybe relax a little bit and stay farther back. Now that I'm in the Washington DC area, we've got 98.7 WMZQ, my favorite radio station. So I get to listen to this for about an hour and a half. Washington DC is right up there a ways. Virginia is this way. Welcome to Virginia. Virginia is for lovers. It is 8.52 a.m. Make a good time. Map says that I should arrive around 2 a.m. or 2.01 a.m. And I am hoping to get there before then. So we'll see how much time I can uh, gain. Going by Quantico in Virginia. We are in Fredericksburg and we've got a Tesla supercharger around here somewhere. All right. Pull in here and get charging. My favorite screens in the Tesla is energy consumption and it tells you how much energy you've been using. Uh, the spikes are when we hit the uh, accelerator pedal and the valleys are when we're uh, slowing down or going downhill or something. And then uh, the other thing you can do is you press here and you see the trip and you can see uh, where your battery was and is. And uh, so like, for example, right now I'm at 43% and when I get to the destination, uh, I'm going to be at 27%. So uh, lots of super handy information and uh, keeps you informed. Here we are uh, south of Richmond, Virginia. It is 10.55 in the a.m. It's been about seven hours. I've gone... 50 or 400 miles. I'll have to check that. About 400 miles, I think. So we are approaching halfway. There they are. So easy to find. All right, we got enough to go. It's almost.
almost like a race. I've already cut off some time. When I first looked after the DC traffic, uh, I had two hours, or I was gonna arrive at 2.01 a.m. And now I am set to arrive at um, 1.28 a.m. So I cut off more than half an hour. All right, we're gonna see if we can keep that going because I would love to get home around, or to my parents' house around midnight. That would be the best. 11.20 a.m. and I just left, where'd I leave? <laughs> South of Roanoke, Virginia, I think. And I'm heading to North Carolina. That's what I do know. I'm heading to Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Uh, I got to charge up there. Going on a huge road trip like this, a thousand miles in one day, starting in the Northeast, you hear certain dialects uh, in New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, uh, and then even Northern Virginia, and then you get into Southern Virginia, and you're in the South now. So I'm looking forward to, it's actually kind of fun to stop every once in a while. I absolutely hate driving on I-95, but I tell you what, autopilot makes it much better because not having to uh, use your hands actively, that makes it so much more enjoyable to go on these long trips. Uh, I've been driving since 4 a.m., so it's been seven hours, almost exactly right now, and uh, and I feel good. I feel comfortable and rested. And I want to go do something. <laughs> so I can't wait for full self-driving cars to show up so I can turn my seat around and like read a book or lay down or something, but not yet. With autopilot and uh, automatically driving cars coming up, there's a lot of concern in the motorcycle uh, industry. And as you can see, the Tesla recognizes motorcycles see that they show up on my screen as motorcycles. It is recognizing smaller uh, smaller vehicles than cars and also it'll show you bicycles or pedestrians if you're on pedestrian streets and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. It's noon o'clock and I'm about 50 miles from North Carolina. Uh, I've gone 435 miles. Started at 418 a.m. So that means in about eight hours, I have gone over 400 miles. So I'm averaging over 50 miles per hour. Charging has gone great, weather's been beautiful. Looks like there's some clouds up ahead. So somewhere in the Carolinas, I might hit a little bit of rain, but it doesn't matter because I'm in a car. When, when I was riding motorcycles, going cross country, when I saw rain, I would, I would uh, have to put on some different gear and prepare myself for you know doing battle with the weather and now you just like keep going and it doesn't matter it's great the other thing is that i'm finding tons of radio stations for country music in the south how about that so listening to some good tunes and uh enjoying the drive just in our north carolina there's the north carolina here i am welcome to north carolina here's a little bit of rain <laughs> Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Charging up here. Charging stop number five, I think. <laughs> Pulled into Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. And we've got another supercharger plugged in, ready to go. And we got Texas food. It is just afternoon, it's 12.30, and I've gone almost 500 miles since 418 this morning. Time to go. Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Good stop, got a little rain. I actually just hung out outside just so I could stand up for a bit. This is a long day of driving. A long day of driving. Okay, so that's it. Everything's going super smoothly. I love this. Oh, dry, doing a road trip with autopilot and then superchargers is just brilliant. It's so relaxing. It is so enjoyable, um, not having to make every single minor adjustment while you're driving is the best. All right, let's go. I've got Navigate on Autopilot on and it's purposely taking me south. So it will take this exit. It's already kind of preparing, confirm lane change to follow route, 
I do have to press the stop for it to know that it does want to change lanes. That was kind of sudden. And here we are. So, whoa, so a lot of things just happened there. It hit the brakes when it saw that truck that was kind of in my lane because it uh, thought it was in my lane. So it started hitting the brakes, then it realized it wasn't in my lane, so just let me keep on cruising along. This is why you always need to be alert and aware and ready to take over at any time, because sometimes there's uh, unforeseen circumstances. During normal driving, during normal driving, autopilot is the best. It is amazing. Whenever there is something that is out of the ordinary, if there's a car that's kind of half on the road, half off, or uh, the lines aren't very clear, then uh, it's a good idea to be prepared to take over. But 99% of the time, all you need is autopilot. It's great. So we are now back on Interstate 95, right about now. There we go, heading south, going to Fayetteville. Peace. 500 miles, yes! All right, so it is now 1.16 p.m. I started at 4.18 a.m. In nine hours, I went 500 miles using my Tesla Model 3 and the supercharging network, which means in nine more hours, about 10 p.m., I should be able to go 1,000 miles. So I may be able to make it to my dad's house before midnight. That would be amazing. 600 miles at 2.40 p.m. 10 more miles until the Lumberton, North Carolina charging station. Uh, and I'm gonna charge up there for 20 minutes or so and uh, hopefully grab some food. It's actually hard to like grab food in the short amount of time that you're sitting in a supercharger. So I'm super happy about that. Uh, so I'll have to sprint and get something. All right, so far at every supercharging station, I have found one other person. Oh my gosh, this guy is totally parked like way over the line. All right, <laughs> I kind of need to take a different stall. Come on, Tesla drivers. You got to park correctly so everyone can use the stalls. One of the exciting things going on is that I am now using a supercharger version 2 and they just announced supercharger version 3. Supercharger version 2 goes up to 120 and some of them go up to 135 kilowatts, uh, which is about 500 miles of charging per hour. But Superchargers version 3 will go up to 250 kilowatts. What? Which ends up being about a thousand miles of charge per hour. Holy moly. So that's going to be amazing. There it is. South of the border. Pedro says you're a wiener at South of the border. Hot dog. <laughs> Which also means I'm in South Carolina. Yes. Ooh, there's a bigger sign. Nice. All right, 3.38 p.m. Charging is super easy. It's easy to find them. The map just tells you. I can find it on my phone too if I want. I mean, you can find these charging stations a variety of ways. And they're super easy to find. They're, they're big and bold and beautiful and just obvious like as soon as you pull up. So it's great. 12 hours, hey -o. And I am almost 700 miles into this trip. Making good progress, it's great. Everything's smooth. Uh, when you don't, when you're on an autopilot, like it's so easy to take a trip. You're still paying attention, but it's just so easy. Estimated time of arrival is now 12.49. Bam, started at 2 a.m. as a prediction, and now it's down to 12.49. Going over this lovely lake, Lake Marion, and I'm gonna be at Santee very soon. And I'll be able to stretch out again and charge up. Oh, it's so beautiful. Can you see that? Love it. All right, so this is the exit where I saw the total solar eclipse like two years ago. It was amazing. Time to charge. Brilliant. 
Now it's telling me I have 18 miles only of range. That's one way to do it. Santee, South Carolina. Love this place. Uh, there's a little general store at Clark's where I got three jams that they wrapped very carefully. Blueberry lavender, strawberry basil, and peach something or other. And then I went across the street to get my chocolate fix. It's still cloudy, but at least it's not raining on me. It's still kind of chilly. It's basically 50 degrees up and down the, the coast. Like good music on the radio. Ow! Forward. You come and go. Now we're just next to a, a truck that's moving gas-powered cars. Look at those old-fashioned things. I remember when everyone used those. Goodbye, South Carolina. Hello, Georgia. On my mind. There it is. Welcome to Georgia. Have a peachy day. We're glad Georgia's on your mind. Good work, two miles. That's kind of funny. And it is 6.40. I've been on the road for 14 and a half hours. Gone 830 miles. And the sun started the day over there. And now the sun is over there. So it's moved all day long. It's actually really fascinating. And we're at the Savannah Airport. All right, I was just chatting with Sandy and John and uh, had a lovely time. They are doing a road trip in their Model X and they have um, come up from Boca Raton, Florida, I think. Hello. How are you doing? I was just charging up. All right. You'll um, write your first and last name and your um, phone number on the back of the ticket is free of charge. Great. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you so much. You Thanks. have a great evening. Uh, you take too. Care. Okay. Oh. What? Why do you think it'll take me that much energy to get to Kingsland? I don't know. I don't know about this calculation here. It's 101 miles away and I have 143 miles of range. That's easy peasy. But it's telling me it's not. So I don't know where the confusion is, but uh, I think it's gonna be a piece of cake and smooth sailing. 12.19 a.m. Getting closer. So I should get to my destination in Florida at 12.19. I have a couple more stops to make. Time for a beautiful sunset in Georgia. Here we go, exit three. The car just put on my blinker and turned the wheel on its own, bringing me to Kingsland, Georgia. And someone's already charging here. Time to make some new friends. Oh my gosh, the moon looks so cool. Damn. 9.06 p.m. And I'm leaving Kingsland, Georgia. Nailed it! 9.56 p.m. Uh, White Wedding is on the radio. 1,000 miles in one day. Wow, that was easy. Uh, in a Tesla Model 3 mid-range version. Uh, I'm sure it's super dark right now. I did it. That was super easy. Holy cow. How easy is it to go on really long distance drives in a Tesla Model 3 or Tesla literally anything? It's super easy. There it is. The last charge of the trip. I am, where am I? Daytona Beach, basically. And uh, just like 30 miles away from home. Uh, but I only have 17 miles of range. So gotta charge up a little bit and I'm gonna use this opportunity for fast charging to um, get charged up enough so I can go home and come back to this charging station as well as do some run around. The last couple of very familiar turns. Here I am in Florida on the same day as when I left, that's what I'm talking about. Boom, nailed it.
Over a thousand miles in one day in a Tesla Model 3 is super easy. Uh, the superchargers work great and uh, I'm thrilled. And then superchargers version 3 are coming up and they're going to be twice as fast. So it's just going to get better. So get a Tesla now, honestly. Or start saving up for one. That's it for me. Hope you enjoyed uh, the ride along and uh, shoot me some comments. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions. Happy to answer them. But for now, good night.